I'm going to create a Pascal program that will do two things. First, it will ask you to find, it will ask for two unequal numbers and it's going to return the value of the number that is larger. Then I will find the total of an unspecified amount of numbers. So we'll get practice using the if statement and the while loop. Alright, so let's begin. So I already, I'm using back the same program header, program sample. Then I have my comment. I'm going to leave it the same. Now I get into my variable declaration. So again, the keyword var, the name of my variables, n1, n2. These will be integers. I will put another one. Let me make total. I put num. Okay. Let me begin. Right line. Enter two unequal numbers. Read line N one and two. Then I say if N one is greater than N two, then indent we create a variable name large larger and instead of it we put n1 n command else now because the two numbers are unequal then if n1 is not bigger than n2 then it means n2 is bigger so it will, it will either be this side being executed or this side that I'm about to type larger equals n2 my bad you don't put semicolon there for if the semicolon goes at the very last statement after the else so you don't put a semicolon there that's incorrect because the entire thing is one big command right so larger is a variable that is going to store the largest of the two numbers. So if the first number is larger than the second, then we put the value from the first number inside the variable name larger. Otherwise, or else, we put the second number. So I'm going to add in larger. Okay. Then I have to create my results. So right line the larger number is colon then I put my variable name larger in the command so that does it then I'm going to declare total as zero right line enter a number read on a delay num let me see while num is not equal to zero do total is assigned total plus num then let's copy this so enter a next number or enter 0 to stop 
right? Now again, keep in mind that we have multiple statements inside the while loop, so we have to put begin and end, and we end with a semicolon. All right. So this will be the loop. So what is happening here? First thing first, we initialize the variable name total. Total is going to find the sum of all the numbers that we enter. Right? So at the beginning, before I enter any number, the total would be zero. That's called an initialization. Then the use then it's going to come up on the screen and say enter a number. Then I will be required to enter a number. And as long as that number is not zero, then it will do the instruction that are contained inside the loop. Then after after the loop begins, it will say total is assigned total plus num. So it's going to add the number that I, that I just entered to the value that is inside the total. And it will do this over and over until I enter zero. At the end, you must see how to stop it because you must make it user friendly. So you can have, this would prevent you from having an infinite loop. Because you don't want it to be running, running over and over and not stop it. So when we enter zero, it will stop. Remember, whenever you get to end, it is going to go back up to this line and it will check the condition. So after I get to here, when I enter num again, when I enter another number, if the number is zero, then it will not execute these instructions inside it. It will stop. All right. As long as the number is not zero, then it will keep adding and adding and adding. So after the loop has finished, it is now time to display the result. Right now, the total is total. Remember, this is a variable name that I'm printing here. And then I end with a full stop. And that's it. So we're doing two things. We enter two numbers, then it's going to return which number is larger. Then we're going to find the sum of an unspecified amount of number. This is a loop. So it's going to do these steps multiple times until this condition becomes false. Okay? So let's run it. Well, let's compile it first. Check for errors. And this is unknown identifier. Oh, I realize a mistake. It's, the data type is integer and there should be a semicolon there. Okay, so now this is compile successful. Let's run. Enter two unequal numbers. So let's enter 15 and 89. Then it says the larger number is 89, which is correct. Then it asks me to enter a number. So now it's time to add 1. So now it says enter a next number. Or enter 0 to stop. No, I don't want to stop with it. I want to keep adding. So I put 5. Enter next number or 0 to stop. So it's it's going to keep telling me this over and over and over until I enter 0. 3, 2. And now I'm going to enter 0 because I don't have any more numbers to add. So I enter 0. And then it tells me the total is 11. 1 plus 5 is 6. 6 plus 3 is 9, 9 plus 2 11. So my output is correct.